Hi, welcome to this Music Notes video on National 3, 4 and 5 genres and styles. Let's begin with the blues. The blues originate from America. The lyrics of the songs usually focus around folk, work and spirituality. There's a singer, a guitar and sometimes a banjo. The time signature is 4-4 four, four, and it follows a 12-bar blues structure of A-A-B. It's important to remember that the blues scale flattens the 3rd, 5th and 7th notes of the scale. Here's an example for you to listen to. Well now it's 3 o'clock in the morning I can be Next, jazz. Jazz has African American origins. It came from New Orleans and also has a little bit of a footing in blues and ragtime. It focuses on improvisation and syncopation. Jazz instruments include the trumpet or the cornet, the trombone, clarinet, banjo, double bass, tuba, drum kit and of course the saxophone. Jazz bands can be big or small. Here are a few examples for you to listen to. Next we have rock. Rock music is known for its electric guitar, bass guitar, drum kit and singer combination. With a heavy beat and powerful lyrics, rock songs typically follow a structure of verse, chorus and middle eight. songs tend to follow a structure of intro, verse, chorus and middle eight. They're popular for using guitar and reverberation and backing vocals. These are the kind of songs that you'll hear on the radio today or in the album chart. Here are a few examples. Rock and Roll Rock and Roll was born in 1950s America. It has roots in blues, jazz, gospel and country. It really took off with radio, TV and record sales and is most famous for the electric guitar. Rock and Roll is all about teen culture and youthful rebellion. 
Song lyrics are usually about rules, love, school and cars, and rock and roll music was made for dancing. Here are just a couple of examples of rock and roll music that you might recognise. Musicals. Musicals are plays with costume, scenery, dance, props, dialogue and of course music. Musicals stem from opera, British music hall and American vaudeville. Famous musical writing pairs include Gilbert and Sullivan and Rodgers and Hammerstein. Musicals really took off with film and TV and prefer a band over an orchestra. The songs use word setting and are often strophic in structure. Have a listen. Go back to sleep. It's time to trust my instincts. Close my eyes and I'll leave. It's time to Music comes from around 1600 to 1750. That's the 17th century to early 18th. Famous Baroque composers include Vivaldi, Bach and Handel. The most noticeable Baroque instrument is the harpsichord. Baroque music sounds repetitive, uses scales and sequences, is polyphonic and can sometimes sound imitative. Baroque orchestras include violins, violas, cello, double bass, recorder, oboe, bassoon, trumpet and timpani. Ornamentation is used in the form of trills and mordants. There are concertos and concerto grossos, but there's not a very good dynamic range in Baroque music. Here's something that you might recognise. Gospel. Gospel has its roots in African American tradition. Born in the 18th and 19th century, its lyrics are about freedom and praise. They have a soprano alto tenor bass choir with a solo lead that sometimes improvises. Clapping is syncopated. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. When Jesus walks, when Jesus walks, when Jesus walks, he wash my sins away. Ragtime. Ragtime music has roots in African American dance halls and saloon bars. 
With a solo piano, the music is written down with a left hand vamp and right hand ragged rhythm, hence the name Ragtime. Romantic. The Romantic period lasted from around 1780 to 1910. That's the late 18th to early 19th century. Romantic composers include Tchaikovsky, Grieg, Brahms and some of Beethoven's works. Quite emotional, Romantic songs are usually about stories, events and places and played by large orchestras. This was the beginning of virtuoso composition. Romantic music is all about adventurous harmonies and modulations. They introduced the concept of rubato and also added instruments like flute, piccolo, trombone, tuba, piano to the orchestra. Listen for exaggerated dynamics and timbre. Swing Swing music was born in the 1930s and 40s in America. It followed the jazz explosion. Popular instruments were the soprano, alto, tenor and baritone sax, with the trumpet, trombone, double bass and drums. Concerto. Here's an example of a classical concerto by Mozart. It was written especially for piano. Opera. Opera came to light in the 16th century. Lots of operas are written in Greek, Italian, German, Spanish and some in English too. Popular opera composers are Verdi, Wagner and Mozart. Aside from music, operas use costumes, scenery and props. They have special songs called arias to drive the narrative. Singers sing with a vibrato voice and use word setting for the lyrics. Classical The classical period lasted from around 1750 to 1820. That's the late 18th to early 19th century. Popular classical composers include Haydn and Mozart. Classical compositions use Alberti bass and are in favour of instrumental music. During the classical period, composers added more instruments to the orchestras. These were horns, triangle, hand cymbals and the bass drum. We also have the forms of binary, AB, ternary, ABA and rondo, ABACA. Classical music focused on mood and tempo. We saw the invention of four movement symphonies, concertos and cadenzas for showing off, 
chamber music and codas for ending a piece. Here are some examples. Reggae Reggae music stems from Jamaican rock. It has subgenres of mental, rock steady and ska. It came to light in the 1960s. Reggae music has a time signature of 4-4 with accents on 2 and 4. The lyrics often reference the Rastafari. Reggae songs have verses and choruses following a strophic form. As well as vocals, there is backing vocals, electric guitar, bass guitar, drum kit, simple chords and bass riffs. Here are some examples. Don't worry about a thing. Oh no, no, no. Cause every little thing is gonna be alright. Alright. Don't worry about a thing. Yeah, yeah. Cause every little thing is gonna African music. African music often follows oral tradition. This means that the songs are not written down but passed on from mouth to mouth. African music features singing, dancing and clapping, often a cappella in an astrophic form, sometimes with call and response. Instruments used include African drums, bells and xylophones, which play roles in syncopation. There are also steel bands and calypso music. Have a listen. Rap. Rap music is based on improvisation and freestyle. It was born in the Bronx, New York, and came to light in the 1970s. It came from the tradition of Jamaican toasting and is famous for using drums and bass for beats. Listen to these examples. Spaghetti, he's nervous, but on the surface he looks calm and ready to drop bombs. But he keeps on forgetting what he wrote down. The whole crowd grows so loud, he opens his mouth, but the birds won't come out. He's choking how everybody's joking now. The clocks run out, time's up, over blow. Snap back to reality. Up oh, there goes gravity, up oh, there goes rabbit. He choke, he's so mad, but he won't give up that is he know he won't have it. He knows his whole back to these ropes. It don't matter, he's dope. Latin American Latin American music originates from South America, specifically from the Spanish-speaking and Portuguese-speaking countries, as well as the Caribbean. It came after Inquisition and slavery. Instruments include bongos, conga drums, claves, shakers, scrapers and cowbells. There are many Latin American dances. For instance, we have the Argentinian tango in 4-4, the Brazilian bossa nova in 2-4,
and the Brazilian samba in 2-4. There's the Cuban cha-cha in 2-4 or 4-4, the Cuban rumba in 4-4, and the Cuban salsa in 4-4. And lastly, the Dominican Republic merengue in 2-4. Instruments used include pan pipes, castanets, and bongo drums. Here's an example. Scottish music. Scottish music is part of the Cayley tradition. At Cayleys, there's music, poetry, stories, and dance. Scottish music is written against a pentatonic scale made up of five notes. These are the black notes that you'd find on the piano. Scottish instruments include bagpipes, clarsach, fiddle, accordion, whistles, boran, flute, and percussion. Kjol Big, meaning light music in Gaelic includes the dances of Strathsby in 4-4 four, four, with dotted rhythms and scotch snaps, reel in 2 or 4-4, four, four, jig in 6-8, waltz in 3-4, and march in 2-4 or 4-4. Four, four. Kjol Mor, meaning big music in Gaelic, sometimes also called Piproch, is songs for solo piper based on theme and variation and with lots of grace notes. The fiddle is usually played along to a piano vamp, the accordion is played in dance bands, and the clarsach is used to accompany singing. There are also Gaelic psalms, which are led by the leader of the church and followed on by everyone else, walking songs, which was used in the traditional walking of wool sung by women, and Celtic rock, a new fusion genre. Bothy ballads were sung in the 19th century at work about work by working men. There is also mouth music, also known as Purshabule, and it's made up words that are sung to a tune specifically for dance. Strathsby. Piebroch. Folk song. Ballad. 
the place go, sleepy too. Sigari, Hurti, Ari, Sigari, Hurti. That's it. Thanks for listening to the National 3, 4, and 5 genres and styles. I hope this has helped you in some way. All the examples used in this video are linked in the description down below. I'll timestamp each genre as well to make for quick and easy revision. Let me know if there's anything else that you'd like to see from this channel. There should be more videos coming soon.